Friend, where are you going? We're, we're traveling together. I need you by my side. There we are. Come back, my friend. I need you by my side. We're not ready to head out yet. We're going to hit the road in just a second. We need to get some more supplies. Hey, he's going again. Stop wandering off, friend. I need you by my side for this epic journey to Dawnstar. So, my friends, welcome to the next episode of Skyrim Life. As a beggar, I feel completely warm. That's very nice. It's going to get very harsh and cold on the road, though, later in this episode. If you remember, my friends, in the last episode, we did a spot of hunting and gathering, uh, mainly for meadery supplies. Got some flowers and stuff planted there. They will grow in our absence as we journey to Dawnstar, which is what we're going to do in this episode, because we need to hit up the Yarl to hopefully buy a plot of land where we can build our manor house overlooking our farm that we can then move into and perhaps start a family. Our band fire wizard here. Uh, we haven't named him yet. Many people want me to name him. I will at some point name him. I'm sure his prowess in battle in this episode will grant him a new name. But for now, he is still banned Fire Wizard. But I am going to reward him for his bravery thus far with free pickings from the confiscated goods chest. There's plenty of magical items of epicness in this uh, chest here. And I want to give him some, uh, some treats, you know, some rewards for his loyalty to me. So, he's using a dagger right now. If I just give him this ebony mace, he can defend me in melee if needed. He doesn't use a shield. But I will take this padded fur hood for myself, I think. Uh, I think he prefers robes, so we're going to get him a... Actually, a scaled helmet might do him well of Major Magicka. Just simply because uh, he's obviously magic focused and that might aid him. I'm not going to use any magical items myself. Uh, I'm, a, I'm but a simple man, a simple farmer. All I need is cold hard steel at my hip. And that will do the job. It, it will dig my earth, and it will slay my enemies as needed. Before I do hit the road, I'm going to need warmer clothes than just these farming leathers. So where's that bandit with the fur? There was the bandit explorer that we that we slayed, or the fire mage slayed. And he was wearing fur armor. And I wanted to make myself fur armor in the last episode, but I didn't have the supplies. So, I'm going to get it off his corpse, but that's, I think his corpse is gone now. The gorehound, is, his corpse is still there, but the explorer seems to be gone. Oh, he was wearing fur that we could have taken for our own. That's a shame. That's a real shame, you know. Oh, look, our farm earnings are available. We'll leave them for now. Get them next episode, because I want to hit the road soonish. But, oh man, the fur armor's gone. That's that's such a shame. I think we're going to have to just travel as is then on the road. It's going to be it's gonna be cold for us, though. If we pass any towns or hamlets, I'm going to pick myself up some fur clothes, I think, for the warmth. But I'm going to hit the road now because the sun is beginning to rise. I want to get there before night falls. We've got the whole day ahead of us to travel. Let's just plot on our map, Dawnstar, where we want to go. It's just there, so it's a straight shot. So let's place a marker there. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Backpack is on our back. We've got our tent, our pot, our water skin. We've got some trail rations in our pocket. So we've got food for the road as well. I think we take our first step towards Dawnguard. Or oh, sorry, Dawnstar. I keep saying Dawnguard. But I feel a lot safer with my friend here by my side, actually. I'm going to see about giving him that helmet right now. Now, if I give him the helmet, does that remove his robes? Because he'll be naked with, with just a helmet. So I think I'm going to have to hold off giving him the helmet for now. But I will absolutely give him the axe. Or the, see, the mace. There we go. Look at that. He's got an actual proper mace now. Well, the walking stick by my side. He has the epic mace. Ebony mace. We journey on. I think, you know what? As a farmer and as a citizen of the, citizen of the world... I'm going to stick to the roads as much as possible, as any good citizen would. Uh, you know, part of me just wants to go through the wilds, and I don't think it's bad for us to go through the wilds, but I, I want to see what it's like just actually sticking to the roads, you know? Oh, this, this, she's got a, she's got robes, actually. I might give her some robes. I'll take her robes and give them to the mage, you know? Archmage's boots? What's she doing with Archmage's boots? My word. Did she steal these from the Archmage? <laughs> Is that why she's, like, excommunicated and is, is working as a hired bodyguard? she got tribunal gloves and everything. We'll take all this stuff. Give them to our mage. I'm sorry. I don't mean to desecrate your corpse, but my, my mage needs this stuff. And these are robes of destruction. And he, my, my mage is a destructive mage. So this will power him very nicely. Look at this, though. The sun rises over the valley, illuminating the snow, the old ancient structures. Yes. All right, let's give our mage his robes. He's very excited about these new robes, I think. Here's your robes of destruction and your tribunal gloves. Yes, that's it. Wear them, my friend. And wear the scaled helmet as well. <laughs> yes, look at that. Yes, he's ready to rock. Archmage's boots as well. I'll give you some shock resistance. They are, my friend. You look very different now, but you're going to be much more powerful to, to defend me. 
But yeah, I was saying before we uh, picked up those robes, uh, I was distracted. I'm going to stick to the roads as much as possible, as I feel like this character would do that. Uh, and I'm actually curious about um, travellers that we'll meet on this road as well. So yeah, we'll stick to the roads for now. It's actually a very nice day today. It's pretty clear. We're heading north. So luckily, or hopefully, we won't be too cold in, in our journey here. There's a nice elk there. Nice winter elk. Very nice. Oh, as we've met, another traveler on the road here. He looks like some kind of skooma dealer or something. He's wearing basic tatters. Hello there, Khajiit. What are you selling? Is it skooma, my friend? Because I would like some skooma. What have you got for sale? Look. Mage, look away. Oh, he is a suit. He is indeed a skooma salesman. I'm going to take, you know what? I'm going to take a bottle of sleeping tree sap. I've already got some skooma on me. My word, that was an expensive purchase. Right, thank you, friend. Oh, I've already got to get over this skooma addiction. I'm actually going to take some skooma right now, I think, because it's been a while. This will help me through the snow. 18 bottles of skooma left, my word. Let's absorb the essence of the skooma to keep us warm as we travel north. And what's this? A nice little... Oh, a lair of some kind. Is this a, is this a bandit? Hello? I think that might be an, an enemy. It definitely is. Should we test our, our new bodyguard? <laughs> Should we put him to the test against this guy? Oh, they have a fire wizard of their own. Perhaps we should uh, leave them in peace. Although, actually, them being so close to my land, I'm not fond of that. <laughs> oh, the skooma's hitting in. Oh, the skooma's hitting in. Okay, I don't know what to do. Do you know what? They are so close to my land, I don't like it. I'm going to put my fire wizard to the test here, and we're going to attack these guys. I have but a simple bow. That's all I have. But I will attempt to attack these guys. You stay away from my land, you foemans. Bandit cloaker. That's it, my mage. You get them. Yes, you return the favor. And yes, already. He's just des completely... Oh, yes. I did a measly amount of damage in that foray, and he did absolutely... Oh, I, I just love this guy. I hope you stay with me forever, friend. Bandit cloaker has stuff on them. Yes, the fur armor. That's what we want. We wanted some fur armor. Good. It's exactly what we wanted. So will help keep us warm as we travel further north. I was going to actually see if we could stay here for warmth. But I don't think we need to right now. Because there was fires here. So we, we could camp here if we wanted to. I'm not going to go inside. That would be too, too much. But the two outside are dead for now. And uh, I hope they don't blame the Khajiit over there. <laughs> the ones inside. Let's take this fur armor and move on. All right, I'm just going to quickly equip that alongside my new padded fur hood. Get nice and wrapped up. Fur armor. Padded fur hood. And where's my cloak? There it is. Look at that. We're ready. Your cloak provides resistance to exposure and rain. I think we're sorted now. Look at that. This is true cloak, uh, true traveling furs through the winter storms. Uh, we are indeed. I think this is going. The way. If we follow the road, I think this will lead back round towards the, the correct direction. Right, walk and stick back out for that extra speed. And we have come across the first little hamlet. Or is this an inn or something? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure they're going to be uh, glad that we got rid of those two bandits outside that that little cave there. Let's uh, pay a visit to these Nightingale Inn. It is indeed an inn. And oh, look, there's a cellar there. I don't think we need to actually stop for too long because we've only been on the road for a little bit now. And I'd rather just, you know, kind of keep traveling the road and keep the daylight on our side, I think. But this is quite a nice little area here. Look at this. Very nice. There's some fishing here, perhaps. There looks like some clay around as well. We can always uh, pay a visit up here. It's not really far away from our homestead at all, but there is someone out there. Who is that person? Let's go pay them a visit, as they are on the road. If I needed supplies, I would probably pop into the Nightingale Inn, but I don't need to, so we're not going to for now. And uh, oh, look, it's a hunter, I believe. And they felled that wolf. Very nice. Yeah, but look at this. This is quite the nice little, uh, like, nestled inn, isn't it? It's got its own little pond and everything. Oh, today is such a glorious day, actually. A brilliant day for travelling. We couldn't ask for a more comforting weather. And, oh, there's someone up there. We're going to ignore them. Let's just keep to the road, friend. Let's just keep to the road. You were slightly thirsty. I think I have enough water on me. Actually, do you know what? Well, there's a bear over there. If I look at the road, we might actually have to go across the mountain. Yeah, I think we have to go across there anyway. Because, look, that will just lead us to um, Windhelm. So I think we actually have to go through the mountain, mountain pass. I think that is the only way indeed. So let's do it. Let's go back. Because this is a mountain pass. If we keep following the road, it will lead us to a city we don't want to go to at all. And, uh... Well, this is going to be much shorter as well. So, who is this foeman? Are they indeed a foeman? Or are they a friend? I think so. I think they're a friend, yes. 
Oh, it's the orc again. It's the old orc. He's <laughs> he has seen me once more. I have someone with me that is worthy of your um your request to put you out. I am waiting for a good. Oh, that's it for a good death. My friend here could, could offer you that good death. But uh, you know what, friend? I I, I, I wish you, you well. I don't want you to die just yet. Death, so you, you stay there, friend, and I'm going to go through this mountain pass as I'm getting very chilly right now, actually. Wayward Pass. Oh, some offerings. Some tundra cotton, some lavender. Oh, many offerings. Perhaps we should uh, leave an offering of our own, my friend. Let us lay down something at the Shrine of RK. Let us first pray. Yes, we pray at the Shrine of RK, and we leave an offering worthy of RK. Do you know what? For RK, I, I I'll do this. I will give him my old beggar brawler braces that I used to fight with in uh, the old beggar arena. Look at that. That is a worthy gift, I think. That's a very special gift, you know. That's uh, That means a lot to me. Although, actually, that has left me now without any gloves, which I need. <laughs> so maybe I'll take those back. Yeah, I'll take those back because I kind of need those. But I will offer you something uh, equal in value, I think. Do you know what? I actually don't have uh, anything cool to offer. <laughs> I kind of need those gloves, so I, I can't really give him those those gloves in the end. <laughs> I can give him the, the bandola that I, I killed the... Uh, that the flowers had killed the, the Dark Brother men before. Do you know what? I'll come back and I'll give you something later. But I kind of need to keep these <laughs> these braces for now. All right, let's onwards we go. All right, well, the mountain pass seems uh, very safe as of right now. There doesn't seem to be any enemies at all. Clear skies. I was expecting more from the tundra. We are getting a bit chilly. But we should uh, reach... Oh, there's a saber cat there. Friend, do your thing. There's a saber cat there. Do not let him touch you. So let's get out of my bow and do some distance damage to him. Oh, there's a corpse there. He shredded someone. My word, this is Saber Cat be gone. Oh, there's two of them. That's it, friend. You get yes, you get them. Help me, get him! No, don't get bit by him. Don't get bit by him. Friend! Oh, Fire Wizard. I was scared that Fire Wizard. Oh my word, friend. Oh, that was close. He got scratched by him. Fire Wizard, be careful, friend. You got rid of them both though. Who do they kill? Bandit on low runaway. Oh, some bandit runaway I was slain out here. Oh, I think he's an ex-member of the Stormcloaks by the looks of it. He was he's wearing Stormcloak armor. But I think he ended up joining a bandit group. Right, well, my, my vision's getting a bit blurry now because I am indeed getting cold, so maybe we should camp up here. Oh, look, the frost surrounds me. It's chilling me to the bone. Let us make camp, my wizard friend. I'm getting very cold indeed. Alftand, oh my. This is the old dwarven ruins. I think we can make camp here. Oh, there's already a fire in place. If we can add the logs to it. Oh, there's going to be no logs to be found in this tundra. Can we, like, cut up some of these... These shacks for the wood. My word. Expedition manifest. My word. We'll, we'll bring that to the Jarl. Maybe he has some use of it. What's in this here chest? So we, shall we have a look? Well, let's have a look at what's inside. Amethyst. Soul gem. Oh, ingots. I'll take all that stuff. Do you know what? I'll, on my way back, I'll give that as an offering to, to RK. Because since we don't do any fast travel in this series, we'll be, probably be walking back this way. So as we return through the mountain pass, if... RK's blessing has indeed protected us, and we don't die on this road. We will we'll give him the, the offering, and I think that'll be payment for his blessings. But, let's see if we can indeed actually uh, find some wood to carve up. Let's see if we can use our survival. I didn't even see the corpse here, my word, the burnt corpse. Oh, this might not be a good place to camp. Oh, look, there's so many corpses here buried. Look at this, they're all scorched. My word. Even out here in the tundra, that people manage to get burned to death. We can set up maybe in this cabin. I just it's gonna be I'm getting very cold right now. I need to warm up for just a bit. Please. So if we use our survival skills, can we harvest wood? Yeah, there are no trees near, but I thought that, you know, let's just continue onwards then hopefully get nice and warm. Actually, I wonder if for some basic flame magic can light this fire, I wonder. Let's give it a go, shall we? Did that work? I think that worked. Yeah, it indeed worked. Yes, it lit the fire for us. Exactly. We begin to warm up. Yes, that's it, my friend. You warm up as well. Oh, glad, I'm glad I tested that, because that did indeed work. Oh, look at that. What a sight. Us in our little furs warming up. <sighs> Very nice. Look at him. He's warming up away from the fire. <laughs> oh, we're both getting nice and toasty here on the mountainside. I think we're getting nice and warm. We'll be gone in a minute. But look how awesome my guy looks. My guy looks pretty cool, you know, with these furs on. Look at that. A well-traveled man indeed, with my fire mage, my fire wizard by my side here. Okay, I'm, I'm nearly at max warmth. It won't last too long. But I'm glad I decided to cast the fireballs on this, or the flame magic on this 
quite a bit here. Right, let's go then. Actually, I might actually turn this off. Oh, I can't actually, I can't. Right, we'll do that for the next traveller. Then the next traveller can get nice and warm. Onwards we go. And there is indeed a saber cat out on the hillside. Right, we're going to actually have to go past that fort there, or that watchtower, to actually get to Dawnstar. So I'm hoping that's not going to be a bandit controlled thing. Or at least uh, only a few enemies that my fire wizard can deal with. Let's lay some arrows down on this guy. Fill up high. Oh, that missed. I need to up my archery. There we are. As I say that, my archery gets upped. Saber cat. Don't you dare. Fire wizard, do your thing. That's it. Cloak yourself in thy magic. Look at that. Doesn't even get a chance. Oh, the man fire wizard. I, I can see why he was banned now. His power knows no bounds. He's too powerful to be kept alive. He controls the Senate and the court. Right, let's just... <laughs> All right, we're fast approaching this uh, this watchtower here. The lights are on. Oh, it grows. It's rendering in. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, lighthouse. It's a lighthouse. Hopefully that'll be safe then. That'll be fine. Who goes there? Let's scout this area out quickly. Just in case there's some nasties inside. It all seems, uh, all seems fine. Hello, I'm but a traveller passing through these lands. Yeah, frostfall like this is perfectly fine. Then this is just a... Uh, Oh no! Oh no, a steed has been f killed! Uh oh, this maybe this isn't a safe place. Do we check it out? I don't know if we should check it out. There's a door here. Where does this lead? Let's pick this lock. That's easy enough. It leads to nowhere, really. A little shelf with a few potions and things. Well, I'll take him. I'll take him. Why not? Right, there is a well here. I wonder if. Oh, there's a little, little, even a little garden here. I guess the lighthouse keeper is kind of like self sufficient then, I guess. Perhaps we should pay the uh, the lighthouse a visit and see what's up. Keep my bow out just in case. Let's see if we can see uh, dawn star from up top. Oh my word! Okay. I guess it is indeed not safe. Oh, wait—is this Falmer? Are the Falmer here? Is that a, alive? That thing? No, it's dead. Listen, my friend, you keep your mace ready. This looks like a Falmer situation. What is going on here? Yeah, there's a Falmer war axe. This is definitely a family situation. Uh, well, it looks like they have also died. What's going on here? There is a journal here. Let's read this. I, I really don't know if I should be investigating this. I I don't know if I should be doing this, you know. I, I'm but a simple farmer, and this is a bit out of my pay grade. What on earth is this place? I'm going to do a quick investigation to look for survivors, as is my duty. As any kind of, you know, good patron of the land. I will do my duty to... Uh, so, you know, kind of see if there's survivors, but if if not, I think uh, this is not the place I should be. I'll take a few coins here and there for my troubles. Did these Falmer, did they come from uh, the Alftand like ruins, do you think? I've actually never seen this place before. I've actually never been in here before. This is uh, an interesting place. Oh my word. Yes, let's get these purple flap. Yes, we need these for our mead, actually. Our mead operations. We'll take these. And it ought to me to take those clothes. Like this as well. I feel bad for taking all this stuff, but better in my hands than in the hands of the Falmer. But I believe I'll take the jug. Burial urn. Oh, Seleki. Okay, we found it. I'm taking this only because this will help us look for even more survivors. But there's a cellar door there. There's a wooden door. That, that's expert. We've got the key for this one. Uh oh. Okay, this is where the noises were coming from in the journals. So I believe we're about to find something nasty down here. There's blood. I'm going to get rid of these traps just in case our fire wizard gets uh, caught on them. But that's it. You keep your spells safe at hand. I am I feel a lot safer with my fire wizard by my side in this. That's it, you friend. You do your thing. You get him. This might be a bit above our pay grade, my friend. It looks like they've tunneled in from Alftan, perhaps. Get Friend, watch out behind you. He's, he's sneaking up on you. Fire wizard, be careful. He's hurting you. Right, fire wizard. Okay, he's he's lost half health. We need to not push on, I don't think. We cannot have our fire wizard dying. Right, take this health potion, friend. You're going to need it. Right, this is above our pay grade. It looks like they have indeed tunneled in from Alftan, perhaps. Where does this lead? This leads to Frostflow Abyss. Right, this, yeah, okay, we can't do this alone. Although you are very powerful indeed, you, you haven't got much armor or much health. You've already lost half health. Whatever creatures lie in that abyss will probably take both our lives. We should just report this to the Jarl, I think, and move on. 
We found no survivors. We did our duty. We can't. We're not going to go on any deeper than this. We did all that could be asked of us. And for now, we we leave this place. We will come back one day, I'm sure, to figure it out. Actually, this is. In, in, ow! Oh, I got hit. Oh, what? This is actually quite an interesting place. Uh, I've not actually been here before, and I've not done this quest. I didn't know this was a thing. But it seems very interesting indeed. If I can, I'll pick this lock. It's locked expert. And as you can see, I've not leveled up my lock picking. Luckily, lock picking in Skyrim is pretty easy, and you can do it at any level. But there we go. I've already found the sweet spot, so it's, it's nearish there. But uh, this is just so I can investigate any, any last survivors. Alright, we need to actually figure out how to heal up our fire wizard. I think he's slowly healing by himself. But we haven't got healing hands, which I would like to learn so I can actually heal him up myself. But let's go up, up above and check out the view, shall we? Right, can we see Dawnstar from up here, I wonder? Now, where is Dawnstar? It's in... Which direction is it in? It'll be down that way. I don't think we can see it just yet. But, oh my, there's a chest up here indeed. Oh, it requires a key, does it? Like, we'll probably find that in the abyss, I'm guessing. But, um, yeah, this is quite the view, actually. My word. Here's the lighthouse. Yeah, I'm not going to go and investigate that abyss uh, just yet. I'm going to actually jump down here to get myself down quicker. Huh. Let's do this. Huh. Oh, no, that was close. And he died there. Right, there we are. Yeah, this is a bit above my pay grade. I'll uh, inform... Oh, he, he came down quick himself. We'll inform the Jarl. Of uh, what's happened here. Maybe we'll, we can come back with a few guards or something and clear it out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite quite a nasty turn of events happened down there, that's for sure. Uh, I've actually got the quest now, which is to investigate the sources you know, of the murders in there. And I would actually like to fulfill that quest. Um, part of me, and I think part of this character, would, would like to fulfill that quest. As it's deeply unsettling to him about what happened there. So I'm going to actually go back when I'm a bit higher level and my little friend here is healed up and we, we'll investigate that thing properly. But there's an Imperial camp there which we could stop by but I think I'm just going to move onwards. Onwards and upwards and get to Dawnstar quickly. Oh, there's arrows here. What's going on? My word. Dwarven arrows. Oh my. Is it a hunter perhaps? I hope it wasn't the Falmer again. I managed to find their way into the surface. When the Falmer comes to the surface, that is not good. It's a dark day indeed. I think that might be the hunter. Oh, no, he's, that's an enemy. Oh, they're, they're charging us. That's it, my friend. You get rid of them quickly. Ba it's a bandit explorer. Another one. Oh, you are the expert of killing bandit explorers. These guys are so hard to kill, but my mage deals with them with swift justice. See the kind of issues I would be in if I traveled alone without this guard at my side. With him by my side, it's just so much safer. I really need to get him healed up, I think. More fur armor we don't need. I'm going to take the loot. I've, I've been looting a lot more, actually, in this episode than I would hope to. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of still trying to find the balance of what I should take and what I shouldn't. I think coins and stuff left behind any sane person would take. You know, who's this up there? Is that a friendly? We could ignore them. But they have a fire, and I would like to go buy it for a second to warm up. It looks like a bandit. That might be a bandit. Although they're not attacking us, so it might be a hunter. Who are you? I feel chilly, so I'd like to warm up. Oh, yeah, these are friends. These are hunters indeed. Hunting, Look at these. A, a pair of hunters. Very nice. Luckily, that band explorer didn't bump into them, because they would have been in for a nasty surprise. I said, my friend, you come warm up by the fire. Hopefully, I can get my hands on the Healing Hands Tome uh, in Dawnstar. That would be very nice, because I'm so worried about this guy's health now, because he's so, he's so wounded. But that fort there, that looks like a nasty place. Probably bandit controlled. Yes, you, you said it already, friend. I'm glad to uh, to know you've been doing this for many years. But I have to move on now because I'm completely warm. So thank you for uh, gifting me the the priceless gift of your warmth and your your fire. I would repay it if you were ever to be found in the tundra, cold and alone. There is another shrine there, actually. Let's go to the shrine. Pay the shrine a visit. I think that's an... Is that a Debella Shrine? We can pray to that. Why not? All the divines are welcome in my heart. It is indeed to Debella. Let's pray to the shrine. Oh, there's some foemans down there. Some Khajiits. That looks of it. And a lone horse on the road without a rider. My word. I will offer a, a mountain flower. Why not? I have but a... I have but a purple mountain flower. And I will offer you one of them. There we are. I'll lay that down there. Oh, that kind of knocked out the other ones for some reason. Right, let us continue onwards. We, we are very close to Dawnstar now, actually. 
We found the main road once again. My Khajiit friends are being attacked here by a saber cat. Oh, they're just wiping them out. This saber cat just killed two Khajiits. It's a snowy saber cat, indeed. Tough. Are you Whoa, that guy just disappeared. Where did he go? In my hour of need, he just disappeared. Oh, fire wizard. I need you once more, friend. This is chomping at my back. Oh, he's going to get me. Where is my fire wizard? Come on, any any second now you can cast out a fireball. Cast out a fireball. He's he's clawing me. I'm gonna die. That's it, my friend. Yes. Deliver your justice. Yes. You did it. You felled it. Very nice. Let's take his pelt. Let's take all his stuff, his meat, his pelt. We'll sell that for coin in Dawnstar, friend. Oh, he's getting chomped at again by a wolf. Oh, stop, he's getting wounded. He's getting too wounded. Oh, there's, there he was. He's, that's his horse, then. These guys, man. These wandering adventurers. Yes. They're no help to anyone. Let's go check out those Khajiits, because this saber cat ripped, like, two Khajiits apart. My word, look at this. Oh, no! It was the merchants! No! No! <laughs> no! This guy, this guy's epic. I'm so sorry, my friends. I am so sorry. He did not deserve such a gruesome... And look at this, it ripped their heads off. The snowy saber cat ripped their heads off. I won't take from your corpse, because you are worthy people. I would not want to desecrate your corpse. But my friend, let's go on. Many troubles on the roads. This is why travelling on the roads is such a dangerous thing. Bounty Hunter is here. <sighs> no, the Khajiits, man. And who are you? Are you a, a militia fighter, are you? Yes, you are. You're a pale militia. Yeah. The roads definitely are a dangerous place. But we are arriving at Dawnstar now, which is good, because our, our fire wizard is very wounded. Noble. Yes. These guys should be careful. Citizens and, tra and travellers should be very careful on this road, that's for sure. But here we are. Oh, I was going to say, we're safe, but there's already a fight going on. Is that a bad explorer fighting a guard, is it? Let's see if we can lend a hand to the guard. What's going on? Yes, yeah, a bandit explorer. Because it, it always is, isn't it? It's always a bandit explorer. Um, don't kill the citizens, please, bandit explorer. I can offer. Actually, yeah. Actually, don't don't you cast a fireball because you might kill everyone. But this bandit explorer is going to kill everyone if we don't do anything. Oh, this guy's tanking all their knives. He's getting like slashed in the back. Oh, he just killed the guard. Oh, he just slaughtered the guard. He's going to kill the citizens. He's killing everyone. He's going mental. Put him down. He's, he's slicing everyone's throats. He's killing all the citizens. He, he, he won't be. He can't be stopped. He's been, put him down. He's been gutted. Look, he's actually he's, he's been sliced open at the stomach. His guts are hanging out. That's it. Right. They actually did the finishing blow. The, the uh... <laughs> he slaughtered everyone. No. I hope these aren't important for the quest. We couldn't put him down fast enough. The band explorers, man. This is why I, I keep saying these guys are insane. He was, I don't know if you saw, but he was continuing to fight, even though his guts were spilling out of him. My word. Okay, that's a nice start to Dawnguard right there. Look at that. Oh, another dead uh, Dawnstar guard, huh? Fantastic. Citizen's throat sliced. Look at that. She got gutted. This guy was a <laughs> bandit explorer's man. Oh, I really hope she wasn't important. Right, my, my wizard, let's go. Well, what, a, what an adventure this episode, man. From the peaceful hunting and gathering of last episode to this absolute bar barbarism. My word. Are you not chilly, oh, Linda? You to... Are you not chilly wearing that out here? Right, let's get you healed up, my friend. If there's an apothecary, you might be able to buy a spell time or something. Oh, who's this? Oh, the Yarl's here. This is who we want to meet. I catch you sending one letter I'm getting chilly. Oh my, I guess this is a Stormcloak loyal town. I guess these guys are still loyal to the Legion, but the, the Jarl has defected to the Stormcloaks. Right, then this is the miners by the looks of it. The mining camp. Carl, very nice. Ironbreaker mine is three times Ironbreaker mine. Silver mine. And it's fathead okay, that's, that's, I wasn't, I don't know. Ironbreaker mine, very cool. And uh, we still got plenty. The sun is still setting, so we've got plenty of time left in the day. We got here in good time, despite our little um, pit stops on the road there. So let's go pay a visit to the Jarl. And see about getting this land, shall we? As a landowner. I don't even think we have the money for it just yet. But if we can uh, set up a relationship with him. Get it sorted. Well met, Jarl. Uh, do you mind if I warm myself by your fire for but a moment before we speak? That would be much appreciated. Actually, I think I'm actually ma at max warmth from that hunter's fire. 
But my friend Yarl, do not go just yet. Um, nightmare problem, what's going on? That's right, Dawnstar. My Dawnstar is plagued with nightmares. With nightmares. I haven't slept properly. Okay, can, can we deal with that? Says the divines will cure us. I see. Well, until they do, I don't have any business to discuss with outsiders. Oh, really? Okay, I guess we have to do this then. How is Dawn's not faring in the war? The storm cloaks are destined to win this fight. Okay. Talos oh, yes, Talos is with, with us indeed, friend. Under a divine's yes. blessing? <laughs> Victory is assured. Good, good. That's all good. I, I agree with Dawn that. Stop. This, this fella, he needs some sleep. He looks very old don't and withered. Look at his eyes. This guy needs some rest. I'm Skull's house. But I think we might have to do this nightmare quest, you know, to actually get access to the land. So he's not willing to do business with anyone, any outsider, until the uh, the nightmare problem is dealt with. But it looks like. Oh, can we buy some spells from whoever's in here? Who's this guy? No, we don't think we can. I'm about to leave this guy behind for a while, the, the band fire wizard, uh, until he gets max health, because I, I don't want to lose him. Right then, let's see. I think we have to do this quest, although I might not do it in this episode, I might have to do it at a later date because I'm not prepared just yet for this quest. But this Yarl's ranting, let's get out of here, he's just, he's just continuing to rant. Oh, who goes there? Are you a hunter? Oh yes, you are indeed a hunter, very nice. Oh yes, I've heard that many times as well, friend, I've heard that you're reforming the Dawn Guard many times. Right, we might have to actually, as the sun sets, spend a night in the inn before figuring out how to help Dawnstar. Because I believe we actually have to do that quest before we can before we can buy the land. Right, I think then, let's hit the inn, get nice and rested, hopefully our, our fire mage might heal up a bit, and then we'll see about maybe paying a visit to the steward, because I believe we have to speak to the steward about land um, purchases and things. And we might have to go up there and do the nightmare thing, which is a pretty big involved quest, and we're gonna, we're gonna need some help for that. Um, and then, we I think we have to buy ourselves the land. We haven't got the coin for it just yet, but as long as we can, know we can get it, that'll be cool. Actually, who are these travellers? Because we might we might need to hire them. Oh, there's a fight going on. My word. Uh-oh, there's a mage of some kind. That's absolutely... Oh, my. What is going on here? Oh, no. So, this world is... Oh, no! That, oh, that actual just exploded someone. Let's get out of here, friend. No, please don't get involved. I beg of you. Okay, looks like they've already been defeated. That's good. Who are you? Oh, it's a bandit. Stay away, bandit. So you cast a fireball in, friend. It's a bandit drop a hitman. He's been dealt with nicely. What, what happened here? That ad truck exploded. These uh, little bandits, were they? Oh, my word. I was going to hire them for help. But a master conjurer felled two of the bandits in the last one. Managed to, uh, to fell him in return. Right, my word. Let's take their gear. We're gonna we're gonna need as much gear as possible if we're gonna take on this uh, this nightmare thing. And I wonder what these three bandits were doing then, because they were just wandering it out in this direction. I was gonna I thought they were adventurous, so I was gonna see if I could hire them for, for future help, but no, they they ran into that <laughs> that conjurer. Too bad they killed the conjurer. We could have used him along with our fire wizard. What's he got on him actually? He might have some cool stuff. Black mage boots. He's got the hooded black mage robes that are past. Uh, the past clothes of our good friend there. He's got, he's got, oh, he's got a spell tome with healing hands. Yes. Fantastic. Just the, the thing we need to uh, heal our friend. We've got stuff of fireballs as well. That we could actually possibly give to, to our mage there to have even more fireball magic. Right. We'll heal you up inside the inn, friend. I've now got that spell tome. Hopefully I have enough magic to actually be able to use it. But uh, Dawnstar, yeah, it's under a lot of threat by the looks of it. Bandits and things come around slaughtering people. The guards still don't know what to make of the uh, the dead, the dead uh, citizens here. It's a shame indeed, but we need to go to the inn and warm our little spirits up. Oh look, the kids feeding the little chickens. Very nice. Well done. No, don't be scared, kid. Don't be scared. And where is the inn? It looks like this is the inn. Let's go inside, warm up our spirits. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Oh, very nice. A stoked fire. That sounds very welcoming indeed. Let's warm up, shall we? There we there we are. Get nice and warm. Oh, our fire mage. He's getting warm, nice and warm as well. Still doesn't know which direction to face, but uh, as long as he gets warm, that is all well and good. Actually, while we're here, let's read that spell tome, shall we? Uh, spell tome, healing hands. He also got mage light as well. Very cool. I didn't know, didn't know I had that. So hopefully we can uh, now heal up our friend here. 
Healing hands, my friend. As you rest by the fire, allow me to rejuvenate your spirits, friend. Right, our little fire wizard friend here is at, is at max, uh, max health, I think, now. We haven't got enough magic, though. Let us then check our needs, because I think we could do with a meal. We're currently hungry, thirsty. I think we sleep first and eat in the morning. Oh, there's a bodyguard here. We could probably hire this guy to help us take on that yes. temple. There's another bodyguard. If these guys stay here... Oh, there is a traveling merchant, though, actually. I think they're his, so actually I don't think we'll be able to. We could just get the request the help of the city guard. Mm. Oh, I think this is the guy. I think this is the guy in charge of the dream quest. What do you want, we'll Jerry? talk to him later. We'll go to the steward first. So Need let us room? get a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Uh, if you don't I'll mind sleeping on the room. floor, right Fire right. Wizard, or we can we can it's share nice. the bed. I don't know. It's up to you. Is it? Is it this room over here? Oh, there's two beds. No, there's not. There's a bed and well, hello. a chair. Let me know if there's anything else you need. If you want to sleep in the chair, what? that's fine. I'll Will sleep in the bed. I'll sleep in the bed. Let's get a nice 12 hour sleep, shall we? Let's see how much, how rested we are after that. We're waking feeling well rested, but of course we are very hungry and very thirsty, but we have farm earnings available. So let us, yes. oh Shady Sam is knocking about, is he? Let us eat our trail rations and water we have, and then we can refill them at the innkeep. So let us eat some. We've got rabbit stew, we've got saber cat meat, that's raw though. Let's eat some pheasant stew with some nice bread and butter. We're now full. I've eaten too much, actually. Let's drink our water as well. Let's just drink the lot, shall we? So we can just get them filled up. I think I'm a bit too full now, actually. We'll, we'll drink up. We'll warm our spirits up by the fire. These inns, Eat these inns something. of Skyrim are definitely a welcome sight for a traveller such as ourselves. Let us fill these skins up, please. These war skins. And let's buy let's some more food from her, happen. shall we? What foods have you got? I want some filling... Some f well, cooked beef. I'll take the cooked beef. I'll take the hawk and loaf as well. I'll take the leg of goat as well. That should be enough. Actually, I might sell to her some things as well that I don't need. I'll sell the sack of flour. Because at some point, I'm going to need to start earning coin to pay for this land. So I've got gems. I might have to do some mining here in town mm -hmm. to buy the land. Because I would like to buy the land before leaving Dawnstar. But my guy's moving a bit slow right now because I'm very uh, full up. So, and oh, what's this? There's like a slot machine going on here. Place of oh no, I don't think we. What is this? Why is this in the game? This, I don't want this. This is probably some mod, I think. My word, fire, fire wizard. Let's get out of here. Right then, let's pay a visit to the steward and see if we do end up. In the, oh, are you okay? Where's he running to? Oh, he looks fine. We might have to actually help the town uh, rid, rid the town of these nightmares. If you know any true sons and daughters of so let us pay a visit to the steward, shall we? In Whitehall, the Whitehall. Oh, is the steward around? Are you the steward? I don't is think you are the steward. Do are you the steward? No, Jod I'm isn't the steward. Housecarl. He's the housecarl. I think the steward is in here then, perhaps. Nope, maybe he's upstairs. Oh no, here's the steward. I think we need to wait for him to go by the yarl before we can talk to him about the land. Right, my friend, are you getting ready to, to buy this land, my friend? You'll have your own house, or your own room at least. I have an order of swords oh, and armor. Order and swords and armor. That's my word. I need every piece polished to a fine shine. Yes, my see. Lord. We could hardly waste any. You always know your place. Oh, poor Bolfric. At the boots, at the heel of the yard. Friend, Just I have more a servant thing. servant of Skald the Elder. Oh. It's not worthy of time or consideration. I can't. Okay, I think I have to do the quest first then. Oh, yeah, I think I have to do the quest first. So let's go back to the inn and talk to that guy and prepare, prepare this. Although I don't think I'm going to do the quest this episode. I'm going to start it, then I'm going to go sell some things for some coin. So I, I know I, I think I need about 5k to buy the land. And then we'll do the quest next episode, I think. Because I think it's a pretty involved and heavy quest. So let's uh, go talk to him first, shall we? Oh, this guy's running with Hi a there. pot. Hi there. Hi there yourself. Let's go inside, shall we? Right then, where is that fella? He's still here, of course. So let's ask him about the, uh, the nightmares. Yes, What's wrong with everyone around here? The entire town is being plagued by horrible oh, nightmares. I see. It's horrible indeed. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. I guess it's up to me to help them. I'm not an adventurer, but I, if, to get the land, if I have to do this, I will. What could you do anyway? Dreams aren't real. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord. Vermina. Oh no, I don't want to tussle of the Daedric Lord. For our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I see. So everyone's I must memories are being sapped. 
before the damage becomes permanent. I see. What's your plan? I need oh. to return to the source of the problem. To Nightcaller Temple. I guess I also need to go there as well then. <laughs> assist me in that regard. I have no choice. I, I need that land and you know, it's up to me then to, to help you. You've been there I've before? Already said too much. If anyone oh yeah, I know this guy. He's, saying, like a, he's like an ex-cult member, isn't panic. he? I would simply ask that you trust me. I'll do my best, friend. Me and Dawnstar's nightmare. Listen, I will help you, but I'm going to need help myself. I need to hire a few people because I'm not a fighter, so how can I help? Wonderful. My lady Mara will be quite pleased. I'm, I'm glad. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Can I, can I meet you there instead? Can I, can I meet I you there instead? Oh, you look like someone who could help us. Need something? Follow me. I think we have to follow him. No time to clap at the at the bar. Let us leave this place. Friend, go. Her voice, her voice is, is pretty grating. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Just clapping at the bar. I, I think we have to follow this guy then to the, the temple. That's it. You go. You out there first, friend. Just join him. My word, that bard's voice was grating indeed. I must say. Right, we've got we've got to go to Nightcrawler Temple or Nightcrawler Temple. That's that up there. At least it's close by, I guess. If I wait for an hour, will he get there first? Oh no, we have to go with him, I think. Right, since it's up there, I'm gonna run ahead. I know it's up there. Uh, I'm hoping there's no nasties outside waiting for us. I was really hoping I didn't have to do this quest, you know. But for the land, I'll do anything. I'm worried that I'm gonna lose my fire wizard in there, you know. I hope he can hold his own. Yeah, this place looks dodgy indeed. I'm not I'm not sure about this one, friends. I think I, I'm definitely gonna gonna get some more help for this. There's all oh, there's trolls up here. Let us uh, see about fighting a few of them before our friends get here. Frost troll. That's it. You you take my arrows. I give them to you freely, so that you may be felled on this here snow. Speak of my friends. Where are they? I need them now more than ever. Frost trolls, be gone. Please. I said be gone. Ah! That's it, friend. You cast some fireballs. Yeah, so we've got two fire wizards with us now, have we? Very good. Don't use a dagger, friend. Don't use a dagger. You need to use your actual magic. They just killed him. They just killed him. How are we going to do the quest now? They just slaughtered him. He's dead. How on earth am I going to actually do this quest now? My fire wizard is nowhere to be seen either. <laughs> they just killed him. The quest is forever broken. Right, so my game crashed after I tried waiting for my fire wizard to appear. I think this mage here dying was responsible for the game crashing, because I don't think he's actually meant to die. My fire wizard still isn't here, so we're going to try waiting again. Let's see if he appears. Yes, he's appeared this time. These trolls shall be felled easy this time. So this guy, I believe, is not meant to die. I think he's actually a unkillable NPC because of my mods. He, of course, got his head ripped off by the trolls. So uh, yeah, that's not meant to happen. This is going to be interest an interesting quest to keep this guy alive. Uh, and stop my game breaking. Hopefully, though, if we go ahead, we can get rid of the, f the trolls uh, preemptively before this guy even appears. Our fire wizard has, has slain many trolls already. He's so powerful indeed. Let's get these guys. We'll launch a few arrows, do, do a little bit of damage to them. The fact that there's three of them makes it a little bit harder. But look at that. He's just absolutely destroying them. Don't let them attack you, friend. Don't let them attack you. Friend! Kill them! Why did he let them attack them? Don't turn don't turn your back! Face me! Face me! Don't kill my my bad fire wizard friend! My fire wizard friend, he's nearly dead. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Kill him. Kill the trolls. Oh, the, fi the fire wizard healed up. He healed up. He managed to heal up himself. That was close. You terrified me there, man. So it turns out this guy can, in fact, self-heal, which is uh, nice to know. I'll still heal him with healing hands, though. But uh, he destroyed the uh, the frost trolls pretty well. Uh, my guy's just so weak. I I'm worried, though, about this quest, about losing the, the band fire wizard. This guy seems to be pretty easy to kill as well, actually. The thing with the, these mages is they're powerful indeed with their spells, but they're just so weak because all they wear is robes, is measly robes. So uh, can this guy get up here already? We're just waiting on this guy. 
Come on, friend. That's it. You're nearly there. I just want to go back to the farm, man. I just want to go back to the farm. I don't want to do all these temples and Daedric quests and killing trolls on the road and things. All right, can you go inside already, please? Because I don't actually want to do this quest yet. I was actually going to go, go get a few more people to help us. So we'll leave them at the entrance. And we're going to go back down, I think, to Dawnstar. Because I'm going to look for any adventurers willing to help us. And I'm going to bring them along alongside our fire wizard. So we can, we can rejoin that mage later. Um... I think there's, there's got to be a few people we could find in Dawnstar. At least some travellers on the road, perhaps. Willing to help us. Because, you know, at, playing as this character, I don't even really want to do this quest. Oh, I'm freezing as well. My word. Let's get inside. I didn't really want to do this quest, but since I'm, I kind of have to, to actually get the series moving forward with the whole land and everything, I'm going to hire people to do the work for me instead, which is more apt for the character I'm playing. The Fire Wizard has once again gotten himself lost, as he always seems to do. But we've discovered the temple now. We can travel back there. Help that guy out next episode. After we find a few willing willing helpers. For now, though, I'm going get, to go get back inside the inn as I'm freezing to death. Uh, I'm sure our fire wizard will join us. This kid keeps teleporting around everywhere. What's he doing? Well, let's get back inside. And there we are. The I'm not, not freezing anymore. Our fire wizard is with us. His robe's bloody indeed. Oh, this person won't stop singing. Can you please stop? Um, I need you to stop singing, though, because your voice is grating. I just want to warm up, you know, I'm not going to the forge gone. instead. Right, she's playing an invisible loot. That's much better than her singing, I, I, I suppose. Do you think this hunter would want to come with us to help us with the quest? I'm not sure, but next episode we will find many people. And for now, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. My friends, as always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. I know it's been a pretty crazy episode. I thought I'd get to Dawnstar quicker, but the road did prove to be dangerous indeed. We've now got to do this quest before we can even get back to our land. I just want to go back and farm, you know. That's all I want to do. But we've got to score this land. And if doing this means we get the land, then, then so be it. So, my friends, I'd leave you here. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.